I guess uh, first of all, if the old uh, follow, follow or, or uh, let him let him shoot debate there at the stretch, it looked like you guys kind of executed as well as you could have hoped for in that scenario with Bowen missing and, and getting a three pointer to potentially win the game uh, in, in the final seconds. Uh, just uh, what's kind of your view on, on how that played out there? Yeah, they you know for for something that um, that is hard to have the ball bounce the right way and just have it all go that way. So you end up with the ball back and, and a decent look at the basket, right? That's that's a, uh, um, you know, executed well by Bowen on the free throw line and, and then chasing it down. And you know, he got it off clean. You know, when it when it left his hand, I didn't know because he had uh, – Henry was on his, on his right side. Uh, uh, the big freshman was coming at him. So he had some traffic, but when it left his hand, it didn't get tipped. And I thought, you know, that might go in. You know, he uh, – um, so all that, you know, all of that was good. You know, that's that's as that's as good as you're gonna, you know, as you're gonna get in that situation. And it leaves his hands, and we, you know, it goes in. We win the game. And that, uh, so our execution from being down, they had that they had that real good stretch, you know, and, and uh, where they were able to get up uh, seven or eight. Um, our execution with everything down that last kind of three minutes, guys. We had the ball in our hands, and we had a three-point shot in the air to, to beat them. So I thought, you know, guys hung tough and executed well. How did you feel Bowen kind of managed the game, especially that, that final minute for a freshman point guard? It looked like, you know, he did what he needed to to, to put you in a position there. Yeah, the, you know, the one he got the layup on, Nick, is is uh, is set up to, to get a three in that opposite corner. Um, we, we, we talked about it today at shoot-around and, and talked about the options and time and score a little bit. And... Um, he made a great read, you know, to, to not – he had the advantage and he knew he could get that layup. Instead of thinking, oh, man, I'm supposed to throw it to the corner, he took that two, and that was a terrific decision, terrific read on his part to, to get that one. Then that extends the game for us, right? Then, then there's, you know, somewhere in there if we get a steal or something funny happens on an inbounds or they miss a free throw or two, like, that was, that, uh, that was a good play. And then, obviously, the last one we talked about, um, and I thought he had a good night tonight. You know, they, they got up and, and pressured him. They made it hard for him. Uh, he handled himself well. Uh, when he when he got freed up, he made threes for us. Uh, I, I thought that that might have been his best game, Nick. Seemed like uh, made a big step forward this these last past couple games offensively. Uh, defensively, is that kind of that that next area that they feel like this team really needs to grow to to get where it wants to be? Yeah, we got we got to cut out some of the mistakes. You know, it. it uh, it gets really hard to overcome when you have 16 turnovers instead of 11. And you don't block out three or four times, and those lead to six or seven points. And you get caught watching three or four times, and those lead to two easy baskets. And, right, and that. that. So we're, it's not that we're, uh, that we're making 100 mistakes in 10 different areas. But we're still making too many mistakes in in too many different areas, and that's you know we've got to get that cleaned up. Now we took some good steps forward this week. You know that that was two physical, hard-fought basketball games, and um, I think if we'd have played these two games ten days ago, I don't you know, I don't think we would have been in position to win both of them. Uh, so we took some good steps forward this week, Nick, and. Uh, now we've got to cut out the mistakes. It's, it's, it's too hard to overcome in conference games when you make mistakes. Ben, do you feel like when it comes to uh, making that improvement defensively, especially with a young roster like you have, that perhaps it's easier to gain ground with your offense before the defense, or, or is that kind of case by case? Yeah. It, it, most of the time, Cole, that that is, you know, that that's where it is. You know, guys are uh, are behind defensively, uh, and that's you know, and we're we are in that boat as you described it. You know, we we've got uh, uh, so many of those things are, are are brand new and they happen fast. And if you're off, you know, if you're off just a just a split second, whether it's again a blockout, uh, positioning, you know, getting caught watching, scouting report. You know, if a guy's, you know, if a guy's going to drive it right, and you get over and sit on his left, and he drives it right and scores it now, that you know that there's there's so much going on in a game for for young guys, and so that's why defensively, yes, there's there's always more catching up to do when you're young, and you know we've got to keep chipping away at that, and 
you know, you just want to cut out. You just want to cut them down. If it was 20 tonight, you know, we, we want to cut them down to 14 on Saturday and then try to cut them down to 12, right? And then get to the next weekend and can you get them down to 10, right? It's uh, so you're not going to eliminate all 20 of them. You're going to make mistakes in a basketball game, but but we need to we need to start chipping away at some of those calls so we're we're just a little harder to play against. <clears throat> Thanks, Ben. Yep, thank you. Coach, um, looking at Bradley's offensive attack, their guards were shut down tonight, but their front court players had a really nice game. How hard is it to craft a game plan against Bradley's offense when they've got guys who can score in the front back court? Yeah, they, they, they've they got, uh, I don't know if it's five or six or seven, I don't know what the number is of <clears throat> of guys that, are capable of being in double figures every night. You know, it doesn't mean that all seven of them have to be in double figures, but it's it's you know it's a nice it's a nice luxury when you've got you know, whether it's six or seven or eight, whatever the number Bradley feels it is. You know, I know it's above five. When you've got that many guys that can that can get to double figures in a in any given game, right? So maybe four or five of them one game, and then two of those guys, but three other guys, right? They've got that kind of that kind of roster and. Um, that is that, that's hard to play against. And, and tonight, uh, you know, Childs is going to be good every night. Uh, Henry was better tonight than he was yesterday. Uh, got himself to the rim and it was physical and got some baskets that were important. And then the you know then the big kid had that good stretch. You know he didn't score a lot during the course of the game and he and he hits three threes in a short stretch, which gives him the you know the one bigger lead of the really the the 80 minutes. Right, neither game got to eight or nine like that stretch did. So. Uh, those guys, you know, they did a good job tonight. They, they made some shots or made some plays when they had to make them. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, you bet.